So here we are at the bike leg of the Xterra Triathlon. Xterra is renowned, obviously, for being off-road as a triathlon. Uh, this being the bike leg, we're in the bushland here um, and going to capture the bikes as they come around this forest trail. One of the things that I've positioned myself for here is coming around this tree, there's a bit of an S-bend beforehand. So I'm thinking that the bikes are going to slow down a little bit. We're going to get them slightly banked over uh, and coming towards us with a, a concentration on the rider's face. There's sort of three or four shots that I'm going to try and get here. Uh, one of them is a portrait shot, uh, capturing the whole uh, height of the bike, so the wheels and the rider as they're coming around this corner. The second one is a landscape shot of just the rider um, uh, hunkered down on their bike, not worrying about getting the wheels in too much, uh, but a really nice close-up uh, of the uh, rider coming around the corner. Uh, the third one is potentially a panning shot. It's a bit more of an advanced shot, uh, but it shows the back, background being really blurry uh, and some blur in the wheels of the bike as well. And don't forget that I can get different angles uh, by adjusting my height by kneeling uh, on the ground uh, of those types of shots as well. T taking a different height really does uh, give a different dimension to the shots. So we're back in the office now looking at photos that uh, don't sell uh, from the bike. And I'll just go through a few of these before showing you some photos that do sell. So uh, here, it's not great composition uh, with this guy. Uh, there's a bit of distraction here uh, from this uh, branch. Uh, the wheels are not showing on the bike. Uh, we've clearly get, tried to get the whole ride around bike in. Um, and we've got too much blank space at the top here. So it's just not a great shot. It's not one that I would upload. I would reposition myself so that this branch isn't in the way uh, and compose the shot better so that the rider is in it. Um, one of the things that we see many, many times uh, and is something that you really need to concentrate on is your focus point. Um, so here you can see um, it's an okay shot. Well, I mean, it's cut off a little bit. But the focus, the main thing is the focus point is on the tree in the background. So we haven't uh, panned uh, with the um, uh, with the rider here, and we've got the focus point completely off. Never upload photos like this. Um, they just get refunded through the system, and people get really unhappy. Obviously, uh, when they buy a photo that's completely out of focus. Uh, here we've just got our timing wrong. Uh, the rider's uh, just moving out of shot. So again, we wouldn't be uploading this. Here we've chopped off his head a little bit when there was sort of no need to uh, perhaps zoom out a little bit more or just recompose the shot with yourself a bit further away. We've blown out this shot a little bit. He's moving out of here and we've got his head cut off. So again, not one that I would upload. Again, a blurry shot here of the rider. And you can only tell this, of course, when you... Um, when you look at these photos properly on your computer, the tree is in focus. And this is why I zoom into the back of the camera when I'm on course, because I'm checking that my focus and my focus points are correct with the photos that I'm taking. So do review your photos on the back of the camera when you're taking them on course. It saves you coming back with hundreds of photos like this. Uh, here this rider looks uh, pretty good, uh, just going to zoom in a little bit, it's a bit out of focus, it's a bit grainy, so I'd be really concerned here um, about my ISO levels and various settings of the uh, camera, and again this is something that you can pick up when you review your photos on the back of the uh, camera. Here, this guy in the background is in focus, where we actually wanted to capture this guy. It should have been the other way around. So uh, really, we should have had the focus on this guy here. It doesn't matter if this guy's a bit blurry. That would have been a keeper if we'd have got that right. Uh, and again, we've got him just a little bit blurry there. This guy's too far away. We really need to zoom into him. Uh, and you've got the branch in the way here as well. Um, so let's just look at some photos uh, that are good uh, from this event. So really nice here, captured a nice angle and action on the bike. Uh, you can see the lighting's very good, uh, and we can zoom in and get the expression on his face. No problems at all. Here we've just gone for this landscape shot. We've got a bit of uh, uh, you know dirt and, and mud and grit and whatever uh, on here, which uh, makes for a really nice shot. Definitely a keeper, well lit, well composed. 
And here we've actually managed to capture some panning shots. As I said in the video, it's a bit more of an advanced shot where the background is meant to be specifically blurry like this. The wheels are supposed to be blurry and the rider is in, uh, is in um, you know, good focus uh, and captured nice and sharply. These are quite advanced photos, uh, but they are quite good for uh, showing motion uh, that obviously is being captured on course. So there's some examples of photos that do work uh, and photos that don't work for the bike.